hi guys welcome back to the channel make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button make sure your post notification bell is on so you don't miss a video anytime miss d upload over here at closet says y'all already know this is miss d so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video but make sure your subscribe button is gray and not red okay now if you guys watch the video before this one we was talking about the digital pre-cuts okay these are the digital download pre-cuts, or however you want to word it. That's what these are. And to get this here, perfect circle, you know you have to have this one inch hole punch like this. All right? It will give you this perfect circle. If you do not have this little mini device, this little one inch, you could also use your scissors, okay? Now, today this video is going to be about setting them setting the pre-cuts i think in my last video i said preset but um something like that but anyway these are the pre-cut images all right these are the downloads and the reason why i say pre-cut why because we just cut them out with this we went on ahead and did it and got it out of the way that way you're not sitting here trying to go through all of them and punch everything so to give yourself if you're into making id badge reels if you're into the bottle caps and stuff like that go ahead and set yourself up get it out of the way because if you have a good size order or a pretty good bit that you're working on or did you just want to display in your shop or just sell to your locals in your area hey go ahead and pre-cut it like this and we're gonna go ahead and set them and i'm going to show you guys how to do that as you guys can see i kind of already matched up the um the color code for them remember these are cardstock we print on cardstock and you can print on paper this is paper remember i showed you guys this this is just like the little cowboy thing that i had did so and i was going to use this to show you guys what to do to reinforce this paper okay and now and i'm going to show you guys a quicker way to set them all right I'm going to show you a quicker way to set them as well. As you already know, these are the different color bottle caps. This is the purple. I'm not going to take them all out because y'all already see them. You know, they come in all different kind of colors. You know, all different kind of colors. As y'all can already see. So, but, and you can get these off of Amazon and you can get these off of Etsy as well. All right. Now, let me show y'all. The colors are very pretty. And we'll sh show them again. These are the one inch bottle caps, okay? This right here, this right here, this right here, this right here. And we're going to use some of what I am doing now because I need to go ahead and put some in the shop. Now, you're going to need some E6000 or some fix all adhesive or whatever adhesive you use that works for you that's what you keep doing and whatever you use that works for you and how you do your setup how you do your id badges is totally fine you keep doing what works for you but if you are a beginner this is for you okay i'm showing you the different steps that will make it easier for you remember if you cannot go on etsy to get the digital prints but they are affordable you can go to google and pre and copy and paste and then you know print out like that if you do not have a printer at home get you go to a friend house go to your local library and go and work from there you know just use your resources use your options guys okay now when you're done presetting we're going to show you what it looked like okay but let's go ahead and get started this is the card stop i'm gonna go ahead and use my e6000 now you can do like this and put it on the back and not me i don't i don't like that so since i make a pretty good bit of them at one time i'm gonna make sure i got a pretty good bit on here this adhesive on here like so See, that's some glue and i'm just going to set it in here like this like so i'm just going to dab it just a little bit like so and go from there all right and let's go ahead and do the next one see 
some of them just do like one dot i don't like to do just one dot i want to make sure it gets all on there that it covers the whole the whole thing okay and it does not take long to do this it does not take long to do this at all guys okay so just remember when you're doing this just make sure you just don't have too much that it overruns from out of your bottle cap on your image okay now on this on this i thought i had something else but i don't okay on this right here let me go you know what miss d getting ahead of herself we're gonna go ahead and just do this now you can put like just one dot like i was saying you can put like one dot like just put like a dot no i don't i don't want to do just the one dot i want to make sure that everything is on there but make sure you got it set how you want it and how you want it if you want it this way want it that way i want my tilt just a little bit to make it look like the mop these here are the little dusters like so so whenever i put it on that badge reel see what i'm saying you know like your dust okay i might do one like this No, I want it like this, turned a little bit like I'm dusting. So, but I can turn it too, like so. Um, turn it just a tad. All right, we'll go ahead and do this. Doing this, the, now some of them just do like this. You can do like this, and when you put it on there, it's going to spray it. But to me, it don't spread enough for me. So I'm just going to do like this. And I'm going to just put it on here like so. That's what I'm going to do. I'm done with that one. We're going to match this one up with the orange. It's just tie-dye. I wasn't going to do that one like that that surgical nurse but i'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway that way i'm not having the same thing the same image okay when they, okay these were all card stock okay y'all notice i didn't put no paper behind it right okay now this here remember it's the paper y'all hear you can hear the difference in the card stock that's the that's the paper. Y'all here? This is the card stock. Okay. But for the pa now behind the card stock, did y'all see me put another piece of paper behind here? No. I really didn't have to. Why? Because it is thick enough. If you do not put paper behind this here, if you use if you printed it out on paper, guess what? It's going to that your glue that you use it's going to bleed through it may not bleed through as much but it's going to bleed through to the point to where you're going to see it's going to be like a little dot up in here i wish i had one by me so i can show you guys it's going to have like a little circle or whatever look like it was trying to come through to finish drying so miss d don't want that right i don't want to mess up this beautiful image so guess what miss d is going to do you know those circles that we use to cut out like on this if we use the paper because it wouldn't punch through here, I'm going to use the white. I got me a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to put this behind here. Why? Because this here print is on regular copy paper. And it's thin and it will bleed through. It may not with somebody else, but it does with me. But trust me, I guarantee you, it bleeds through. I've, I've tried it several times just to see if it don't it does every time so i'm gonna get this piece of card stock this little pre-cut circle i'm just gonna sit it here and let it dry as though if it was an image okay gonna sit it right there i'm gonna do the same thing oh i don't want to use the blue no 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 i don't want to use this blue one 
what color I want to use. Hmm. No. What color I want to use with this, guys? I think it was that little blue one. The little bitty blue one. Oh, man. That'll be cute. I, I need some yellow, but I don't have no yellow. I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and use the blue, I guess. Or was I finna use the purple? Let me see. I don't think I use the purple. I don't want to use that one for that. I'm finna give me just one minute, y'all. I'm finna go ahead and wipe this off. Cause I don't want this glue to like sit there. Now I go back later and get me some um alcohol and I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna use a purple one, y'all. For that one. For this CNA one. Remember these bottle caps are one inches, okay? This is the car stop. I didn't want to use that cover. I liked it, but I don't I don't want to use that. I was gonna make a boo-boo. This is just a regular card stock. Let it sit there, let it dry. And I have one more that I want to do. I want to do this one. Mm. No. I don't want that one on pink because I don't want to take away from the pink or the I'm going to use this one. A silver. I need to order me some black and some brown bottle caps. I think they do have the brown bottle caps. One, two, three, four. I need to order me some more silver, too. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to put this on the... Yeah. I'm trying to think if I want to do the boot. Or the cowgirl. I'm not going to do all of them. I might. I'm just going to do one for right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set this up here until I figure out which one I want to use. Now, we already have those set, right? In the meantime, I'm going to set these here so I can figure out which one I want to use out of these to go here. But remember, on your paper, make sure on your paper image and you're setting this bottle cap, make sure you use a piece of card stock with it. Okay? Just make sure. You use a piece of cardstock with it. You don't have to, but I recommend that you do. Okay? I just recommend that you do. Now, we're going to go back to this one if, if it's about dry. We're going to make this circle like so. See, it's still kind of wet because if, if you can still move it like this, that means it's, it's not dry. Okay? It's not dry. We're going to go ahead. I went back to make sure it's totally stuck to here. Make sure nothing gets on your image. See? this? You see how it's still moving? I can still move this. But making sure it's down. But when you're messing with it, make sure it's straight the way you want it to be. If this is not going to matter, but make sure there's nothing on it. Now, we're fixing to go, and I'm fixing to show y'all a quicker way to dry these here. Okay? This is what I do. This is what I do. So, I'm going to show you what Miss D do over here at Closet of Sads. If you're doing a variety of them, if you're doing them like so many in a bundle or however let me see one two three four five six seven eight i'm doing eight for right now this is what i do so i can keep the process going that way it won't take you as long you already have your stuff done and baby you are on a roll and we'll be right back okay guys here we go now the quicker way to start drying these right here if y'all can see i'm moving my camera and so forth like so 
will be if you if the sun is out or if the sun is kind of moderate and it's humid outside bring your bottle caps outside trust me they will dry so fast i went y'all see i went on ahead and set this one here we went on ahead and used this one set it how you want it to be and go back around make sure whatever you do when you put this on here go back around around the edges and make sure and in the middle is it's dry the reason why i'm telling you that and to make sure it's stuck to your other piece of paper which is the cardstock because if you put that dome on there and if it's not stuck to the bottom you finna have a problem i'm, I'm trying to tell you right now but a quicker way this is the quicker way this is the fast way to dry them if it's humid outside or if the sun is hot bring them all out here bring them all out here and just set them let it dry and trust me it won't take but a minute and since it's a little humid right now i guarantee you just about all of these are dry let me see see i can just basically roll my hand around it yeah Yep. See, they're already about dry. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Trust me, trust me. All right? And we'll finish up in just a moment. Okay, guys. Now, since our process has dried, okay? We're at the process. It has dried. Remember, we took this outside in humid heat, or you can put it out when it's hot. It will dry just like that. Trust me, I'm telling you, it will. Okay, now, when you do, just get it and do like this. Okay, we know that's ready. That's ready. Just the only thing you're doing is going and check it and search, and that's it. That way, if it has not fully dried, you can still go back, do the circle, test this what i always do to make sure but i'm fixing to show y'all something what i was telling y'all before okay remember we went with this hemp style i'm gonna put this here over here in there but look let me show y'all something right quick um right here y'all see right here where i was telling you guys to make sure the reason why i don't like to do just the dot I like to put it all over. Let me tell you what I didn't do. And when I do this, I'm glad it did that too. Because look, now I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Y'all see right here, look like it's frayed up just a little bit. Just a tad right here. Where my poker to? Maybe. Let's see. Yeah. Y'all see like right there? There it is, right there. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like right here. That's the only place that glue didn't hit. I didn't put the glue. You see right here. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to bend it up just a tad. Because remember I told you, if you put just a little bit in there, I don't like to do that. You can. Whatever works for you and how you've been doing it is fine. But I know this is what happens. So I, that's why I went all the way around in the circle. When I did, guess what? Miss D missed something. I want to y'all to show. I want y'all to see the mishaps and all that we do, cause it does happen. That's why it's good to check whenever you're doing bottle caps and bad drills and stuff. This is what you do. See, we do make mistakes too. So when you double check, I'm fixing to get me some E6. Um, get your E6000 or your adhesive of your choice. Okay. I'm going to get my little fix on. Guess what? Miss D finna put just a tag on this here toothpick. Y'all see, I had already moved it with this here poker tool. That's what the poker tool is for. The poker tool. Okay. Now, I'm fixing to put just a tag in here. Try your best. Try your best. Yeah. 
There you go. If you can, not to get it on. Okay. There we go. Now, get this pencil. Let's see. Could go around that edge right there. And baby, we are good. We ready to go. See what I did? And I ain't got to worry about this coming up. Why? Because I don't put just a little bit there just to tack it enough to do what it's going to do. And that's how we set the bottle caps, okay? Remember, let's go over the steps right quick before we end this video, okay? Remember, have your bottle caps of what you want or the colors you want to use already out. Have your pre-cut images of your choice or what you would like to use. Put them in here with your adhesive. Set it and here you go. Put it outside to dry right quick. If it's humid and, and heat is outside, trust me, get you a poster board or whatever you use or a tray or something and put it on there, honey, and go to town. And guess what? Once you done set them on, hey, you can figure out what badge reel you want to put them on now. You ain't got to worry about going through this step right here. So remember, this is cardstock. Cardstock, you don't have to put a piece of paper behind it when you're using the bottle cap, okay? You don't have to put a piece of paper behind it. If it's on the plain paper, make sure you use a piece of the cardstock, which is the circle. You know the little circles that we cut out when you was pre-cutting them. Make sure you use it if you have it printed. If your image is printed on the plain paper, make sure you use the cardstock behind it. See, you can't even tell now that they that the glue is set in there. That because it gives you that thickness. See, even on that one. Because normally if you did, you will see it if it was on the bottle cap by itself. You'll see it through there. And remember, when this one came up on the circle, when I didn't put it all the way around, it left that little bit, that corner. Get your toothpick or your pokey tool, pull it back, add you just a little bit of um, adhesive, get your pencil or whatever I just did, go around, tack it, and it's dry. Y'all know if it's raining now, don't put your bottle caps out there, even if the sun is out just a little bit. We know, we do know that happened too. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, guys, this is how we set your images in the bottle caps, okay? The next step will be our domes. Adding the domes, okay? But this is what it looks like when you set them. This is what it looked like when you set them. See, these ones here, I had already did. Remember, y'all seen that one, and y'all probably seen that one. These are the ones right here we had already did. They was already set. They good and dry. The only thing we're going to do is add some domes. And that is in our next video. But make sure you guys follow this step for, your, for the beginners. Follow the steps, okay? I believe I'm going to definitely do episodes with these here. Or even like a part one, part two, or however. But to take y'all through the steps of how to do. Because I've been getting, like I said, a lot of questions. And a lot of people, people asking um, how to do, what to do. Even though I have some on here. And I'm, this is kind of like an upgrade. Follow up. That's all it is. But the good stuff is yet to come, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. And follow these episodes of what I'm doing on these badge reels, okay? This is Miss D over here at Closet Sass. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And definitely stay tuned to what we're going to do with these babies next. I just can't wait till we get to the part to when we're decorating them. Ooh, that's going to be so much fun. But in the meantime, we got to go through these steps of what to do to get there. Yes. But this is Miss D over here, guys, at Closet Says. Y'all make sure y'all follow these steps. And this is Miss D, and I'm out.